Hey guys, thank you for coming back. I hope you have already subscribed. If you have not, well, take this time as a great opportunity to hit that subscription button and also turn on notification. Now, one tip I want to share in this video is to think of yourself as if you are a different person for each in each step of the way, each job that you're going to do, each job title. The person who is searching online is one person. The person who will tour the property is going to be another person, another job title. Now, and then this will continue on, like from the person who takes pictures is your photographer or the person who's actually going through your inspection list is your home inspector. And the person who's t talking to that realtor, that's a headhunter. So let's look into some of these roles um, or these job titles. OK, let's start with the photographer. Since you have to take good photos, that will remind you exactly how that house looks in different aspects of the house that are pluses and minuses. A photographer job is usually to stick with the plan. They do not go by emotions. They know that they have to take this angle, that angle, this way, this way, and then they'll do that consistently because it's their job. Their job is just to do that. They're not thinking emotion like, oh man, I love this paint. Oh, look at this beautiful window. Let me take a picture of that. No, they're gonna take a picture of all the windows. They're gonna take a picture of all the rooms, all the ceilings, all the bottom, etc. Your home inspector. You have to be a home inspector because you are looking for anything that could be wrong with that house. Now, don't worry if you don't know so much about houses right now. However, I do recommend you study on this. I mean, listen, guys, you're going to have to study. I'm not going to try to tell you you're just going to fly through this thing without any study and any understanding. You are going to have to study in this particular type of real estate. Always remember, the more you know, the better and the more profitable your deals are going to be. So. It is basically all on you and your effort and what you put inside your brain and what you can put out. OK, we will actually still have a home inspector come in later on. You can't afford to have a home inspector in every deal that you're just looking at because you don't know if this is going to be the one yet. You could be seeing 10 houses a day. You're not hiring a home inspector, so you will need to have some form of understanding to this. Don't worry. In my next video, I will actually give a little bit more breakdown what to take pictures of and what to look for in your home inspection that you're going to be doing. Now, now, one thing I want to point out about home inspections, just so you know, although they are very important and they can be very good, even when you hire a home inspector, but just know that they can't see behind walls. They can't pull stuff up. What a home inspector is going to do, he's going to look at everything that's that he can see. But these guys are trained to know what could be going on in the back of that wall. OK, because just remember, some sometimes you got some really shady people who sell in homes and they will actually, you know, go back and they paint something up. They redo something. But, you know, good at home inspector may see signs and they'll be able to tell you. So it's a good uh, ha it's good to have another eye on the deal. Another position I want to talk about for viewing the property is the headhunter. Now, for anyone who don't know what a headhunter is, a headhunter in business is a person who basically tries to find great talent. In our situation, the talent that we're looking for is the agent. So if we are seeing a property and we want to be able to kind of like recruit this agent to want to work with us. Now, we're not hiring them underneath our company, but what we're doing is we're working with them. They will be considered like subcontractors and they will be part of our team in the sense of you want them to bring deals to you. You want to also be the first one they bring the deal to. That's why I, I want to use the word headhunter, because this is a very important thing in the business. Realtors have a lot of influence or can have a lot of influence over the owners of properties. And they are very handy at trying to make sure you get the sell. There's a lot of bad realtors out there as well. There's some who just thinks they're going to just 
put the house up on the market and that's it. They don't do anything. And there's also realtors who wait for buyers to call them and tell them what properties they want and then they'll show it to them. And they, they, basically, this is not the realtor we're talking about. Once you find that right realtor, you want to be a headhunter. Once we find the one that knows what they're doing, who's hungry, trust me, it will be worth the effort that you will make to get them on board. Now, like I said before, it is good to start thinking and acting like you are a different person who's holding a different title as you perform each task. This will help you later on when it's time for you to replace yourself from each position as your business grows. You will understand the task that each one will have to do and why it's important for them to focus and do it the right way. Another benefit to this too is that it will actually keep you calm. When you go in there and you're thinking to yourself, look, I'm just taking pictures and this is the pictures I'm supposed to do. And, or I'm, in, I'm only inspecting. This is all I have to do. You're not thinking about, okay, let me negotiate with the own. Let me do this. Let me do that. This will help you get to what you need to do and keep you calm and focus on the task at hand. What department are all these people involved? Since part one of this video, we are all talking about our acquisition team, okay? These are going to be the group of people who's going to acquire the properties for our business. Now, it sounds funny because every single one of these individuals at this time is you, okay? But I think you get the idea. You have these different positions. As you grow, once you start to feel the need, you will replace each one of these people with someone else. And then sooner or later, you're going to be able to slowly get yourself out of the whole business where you will continue to have an acquisition team, a property management team, a maintenance team. And it's just, it's just going to grow from there. Like it's a simple step. However, once you start scaling up your business and you start growing, you will start to understand why some of these small things will then become huge things. And if you don't get them right now or have a great understanding of them, you will find yourself struggling and having some issues later on as you start to build. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about things that you need to have with you when you're about to see the property. Don't forget to turn on that notification so that way you get the next video the minute I have it out. And like, share, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions or if you want to share some of your tips and tricks. Um, I'd love to know what you think. And um, hey, let's have a conversation. Let's continue this on. Okay? All right.